Hi, welcome back. Complex numbers, nine point circle of a triangle. A one plus i, B seven plus i, and C four plus five i are the three vertices of a triangle ABC. Show that the midpoints of the three sides of the triangle, the three feet of the altitudes of the triangle, and the three midpoints of the line segments between each altitude's vertex intersection and the triangle's orthocenter Z H are all lie in a circle, which is called the nine point circle. Three midpoints, three feet, and three midpoints of the altitude's vertex intersection and the triangle's orthocenter. Let's see how can we do it. So orthocenter is defined as the point of concurrence of altitudes of triangle ABC. And equation for orthocenter is given as like here. Is it H equal to Z1? Is it 2? Is it 3 times tan A, tan B, tan C? Is it 1? Is it 2? Is it 3? Are the vertices of the triangle? ABC are the angles. So we need to find H, Z. So A, B, C are given, but angles are not given. To find the angles, we use the condition angle A is equal to argument of Z3 minus Z1 divided by Z2 minus Z1. Basically, these are two straight lines and the angle between two straight lines are given by this equation. It's given by this equation. So now, what you substitute is for Z3, 4 plus 5i, and Z1, 1 plus i, and then simplify to get the value for angle A, 53.1 degrees, taking the argument of this complex number. And as this triangle is an isosceles triangle, triangle angle A and angle B are same, so for 53.1. And the remaining angle, angle C is 73.8 from the total number, total value of the angle is 180. Now we plug in these values in ZH. ZH, ZH, ZH equal to Z1 times 10 A. Z1 is 1 plus i, Z2 is 7 plus i times 10 b, plus Z3 is 4 plus 5 i times 10 c, divided by 10 a plus 10 b plus 10 c. Now, after simplification, we get Z h equal to 4 plus 3.25 i. Okay, now let's find the 3 feet of the altitudes, basically N, M, and R, means we drop a perpendicular to this uh, side, opposite side, you can get the value of N, similarly M and R. Uh, actually, uh, we know BN, BN equal to AB sine A, AB sine A, AB is equal to 6, because this is 1 plus I, 7 plus I, from here to here 6, 6 sine A equal to Bn. And when simplifying, actually we can find Bn. And An is the distance from here to here is equal to AB squared minus Bn squared square root from the Pythagoras theorem. So AB is 6, Bn is coming from this equation. And when you simplify, we get the value of a n equal 3.685. Actually, what we need to find is out is the coordinates of n. To find that, we need to find out either uh, a p as well as n p. So a p is equal to a n cos a. We know a n if n cos a will give us a p, which is equal to 0.166. And we need NP to find the X coordinate, to find the Y coordinates, NP equal to AN sine A, which is 2.881. Therefore, the two coordinates, X, X and Y coordinates of NZ equal to AP plus 1, AP plus 1, because we start from 1 here, and plus I times 1 plus NP, 1 plus NP. So 
the coordinates of in z is equal 3.166 plus 3.882 i similar coordinate of m is z can be found using this triangle and simplification so it's 4.8387 plus 3.82 i and the value here r is it the third foot is equal to plus i because from the midpoint of this one is 4 4 plus i now let's find the midpoints of the line segments between each altitude vertex intersection and the triangles auto center so basically the triangles auto center is the one that you get here after drop, uh, dropping perpendiculars to the, uh, the the opposite side now what we need to find out is the points the midpoints of this uh, this center and this vertex the midpoint of that center and vertex midpoint of that like that center and there are three of them to find a midpoint of a line joining two complex numbers is given by the equation half of half times the addition of those two complex numbers for example if you want to find out the midpoint of a and h multiply point point five times a z1 plus h z and a z1 is equal to 1 plus i h z is equal to the one that we got earlier substitute those values and you get this one similarly you can find v a z v z equal to h times v times 0.5 get this one and similar w z you get 4 plus 4.125 i and lastly we need to find the midpoints of the three sides of the triangle so these are three sides uh, q t and r in this case r is equal to 4 plus i which we found earlier and q is the midpoint of this side which is again the equation you can find use 0.5 times the addition of the two complex numbers z1 a z1 plus c z2 times 0.5 get this answer for the midpoint qz and similarly midpoint tz you get 5.5 plus 3.0 i okay so we have nine points three midpoints of the triangle uh, sides of the triangle and the uh, foot feet the uh, feet of the altitudes and the center of the altitude and vertices and the auto center so in, in fact we have eight because two of them coincides here at r is it so n is it found m is it is found r is it found u is it we found earlier v is it and w is it and r is it coming because these are the uh, uh, feet of the in the vertices feet of the altitudes and these are the midpoints of them and these are the midpoints of the sides and mid of the sides and the feet of an altitude both the same here therefore it's the second point still the same here r z and q z and t z basically there are nine points and we can drop a circle around these points quite interesting isn't it all these points lie in one circle so this is called the nine point circle 